Hey gang, Uncle Todd here, and today we're going to go see The Watchers. Uh, it's a new M. Night Shyamalan film. Uh, he's been doing some good work lately. Um, I kind of dropped off between his uh, village and split. That, was, uh, that section in between there that I didn't really have a lot of enthusiasm for. But uh, yeah. His last few films have been pretty good, so I'm looking forward to this one. It will hopefully be better than uh, The Violent Nature that I saw last week. Fingers crossed. And uh, I have to admit, I am becoming a bit of a Dakota Fanning fan. Um, her stuff like War of the Worlds was okay, but uh, having since seen her in like uh, The Runaways and uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, really good performances squeaky from I thought so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing her in this uh, tell you what I think when I get back and we're back okay pretty good uh, a little slow in parts but uh, really good opening where a guy's running through the woods and trying to get somewhere and he ends up going in a circle somehow and something in the woods gets him. Uh, then we move on to uh, Dakota Fanning, who uh, this is in Ireland. Uh, she's an expat who is uh, working in a pet shop and she's kind of lost. She's never really recovered from her mother's death about 15 years earlier. And uh, she gets a uh, order where she has to deliver a um, golden parrot somewhere. And she somehow ends up in these woods. And she uh, gets lost very spookily. She gets out of the car, grabs the bird, goes to see if she can find help. And when she turns around, the car's gone. She can't figure out where she is. She eventually comes upon this house. And there's three people inside. And they explain. Because it's getting dark that she has to stand here. The watchers. And uh, they like to watch them. And... She tries to get away the next day, can't, and then uh, we, uh, we get to learn more about these people and about her past, and um, the people are always lost, and they're drawn there. That's the legend they explained at the beginning. And, uh, I'm going to leave the uh, plot synopsis there because there's a lot of twists, and I don't want to spoil them for anyone. But, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty good. Reminiscent of the village in a way. But uh, not quite as um, silly in the explanations. Some good twists. As you know, Shyamalan, it's a twist. <laughs> and uh, some good action. Great character development. And... Uh, a great explanation for what the monsters are and why they're doing what they do. That I liked. Uh, and, uh, some really great moments where uh, there's certain rules and of course Dakota is going to break them all <laughs> and there's going to be consequences which leads to other reveals. So, yeah, really liked it. If you're looking for a good slow burn horror film, this would, uh, this would be a good one to catch. Well, please hit like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.